Sean Payton has hired two coaches to his staff. We're going to break down the latest news on today's show. Welcome into the Broncos breakdown by Chat Sports. And Sean Payton's staff is continuing to grow. No offensive defensive coordinator yet, but we do have a special teams coordinator. And it kind of feels like it's going to be by tandem, right? A little of, uh, uh, you know, Dale and Brennan will come in and we're ready to fuck shit up. But Jeff Legwolf from ESPN tweeted out, have been told Mike Westhoff has signed a deal to be assistant head coach for Broncos and will oversee special teams with Ben Kawika having been hired as special teams coordinator. And Kawika is now second former helicopter pilot to be Broncos special teams coach. So was Mike Prefer. Now let's get to know these two coaches a little bit because I don't know about you guys, these aren't necessarily household names that jumped out to me as big time candidates that everyone's heard of before. Now let's start with Mike Westhoff who has been hired as the assistant head coach who's also going to oversee special teams. So he is now the assistant head coach, but beforehand he overlapped with Sean Payton in New Orleans from 2017 to 18 as the special teams coach. He took some time off from football before and after because he was battling and kicking cancer's ass. 2001 to 2012, he was the Jets special teams coach and for a long time in Miami from 1986 to 2000, the special teams coach. He recently turned 75, so he's got plenty of experience. He's got a lot of football in him and a lot of football behind him, but hopefully some good days up ahead because the Broncos special teams unit for quite some time has been awful. Under Dwayne Stukes, it was bad. It was so bad that when Rosberg became the interim head coach, he really only made two moves, and that was fire Stukes at special teams coordinator and out the offensive line coach. Now, Ben Kotwa, uh, Kotwika, excuse me, here is his career background. Last year, he was the assistant special teams coach in Minnesota. Before that, he was the Falcon special teams coach. He was the Washington, dare I say, Redskins uh, special teams coordinator from 2014 to 18. And before that, he was the Jets special teams coordinator. Well, that's interesting because there he's the Jets 2013 special teams coordinator. Jeremy, can we get uh, Coach Westhoff's career backgrounds? Because, well, wouldn't you know, they both were with the Jets. I wonder who the Jets head coach was at the time. Are we connecting dots, people? This guy, Rex Ryan. So, does it feel like the stars are aligning for Rex Ryan to come aboard and be the defensive coordinator if Sean Payton is kind of getting the band back together of all these old former coaches who've got plenty of experience and aren't young and up and coming first time coordinators. No, he's going with guys who have had this job before and have had this job for a long time. So before I expand on Rex Ryan as a potential defensive coordinator, be honest with me here. Would you like Rex Ryan as the defensive coordinator? I'm curious what you guys are thinking about this. So let me know in the comment section. Would you like Rex Ryan as the Broncos DC? Some other candidates out there, a former Saints co-defensive coordinator they talked to yesterday. Sean Desai from the New Orleans Saints has been rumored as well. Vance Joseph, could he be making a return? It'd be pretty awkward, no doubt about it. But we get another Sergio Dip moment. Not the result of the game, but just Sergio Dip having the time of his life. So you can't pass up on that. So some thoughts I have when it comes to Rex Ryan. One, I'm just not a big Rex Ryan guy, right? I think Rex Ryan is a player's coach. He's a fun coach. I know people like him. I'm not saying he's a bad coach. He's just not my target, my number one candidate for a defensive coordinator. Why? He's been out of the league for a long time. He hasn't coached since he got fired by the Buffalo Bills back in 2016. That's a long time to be away from football. I know he's been at ESPN, so he's still watching games. He's still engaged. He's still got plenty of sources and people in the NFL that I'm sure he keeps in touch with to keep him up to speed on the latest lingo and terminology and jargon and all, all, all that's happening in the league. But, man, to be out of the league for that long... I think maybe there's people out there that know what's more about football in 2023 than Rex Ryan. I did some quick napkin math. There's only about eight starting quarterbacks left from 2016 that are still in the NFL and are starters, right? That are actual, you know, legit quarterbacks. So for the most part, you'd be looking at brand new quarterbacks each and every single week. 
Here are the reported candidates that we mentioned. Sean Desai, Rex Ryan, Vance Joseph. And then they also tossed in, I'm blanking on the name right now, but a Saints co-defensive coordinator from Sean Payton's days back in New Orleans. Now listen, anytime Broncos news breaks related to the coaching search, free agency, trades, we get going here. We scramble the Jets and we get you guys the best Broncos YouTube coverage, which is why you have to subscribe. No signing, no hiring is too small for us, so make sure to hit that sub button and get locked in. Circling back to the two hires made today, Mike Westhoff, who very inspirational coach, very well respected and loved defensive background coach like I said he's taken some time off from the NFL which like I just said with Rex Ryan not necessarily ideal but you know Jerry Rosberg was out of the league for a little bit and he was an awesome coach for the Broncos last year so I think even to myself my Rex Ryan point may not hold true for everyone but he's got a lot of experience and he's got that Sean Payton connection but what I'm noticing is that Sean Payton is not interested in bringing up first-time young mid-30s coaches he's only made a couple of hires he's brought some guys along with him from New Orleans but he is clearly targeting coaches who have experience who have done this job before and have done it for a long time he's not interested in bringing someone on who's going to have training wheels and it's going to be their first time as a big-time coordinator doesn't get that sense instead he's looking at Rex Ryan Sean Desai Vance Joseph People who've had that job before. And I expect the same for the offensive coordinator when we get to that point. Although with Sean Payton calling the plays, doesn't feel like that will be as impactful. Some other thoughts I've got about these two moves here. Special teams has to be right. I mean, these hires have to, get, have to be right because special teams itself has been bad. And that's putting it lightly. Special teams actually has been downright awful. They have not had any sort of impact, any sort of spark. Brandon McManus has been the best special teams player since, I don't know, Holiday? And McManus is good, but he had a bit of a down year last year. And Montreal Washington was picked to come in and turn the kick and punt game around. And in fact, he ended up just being a healthy scratch the last couple of weeks because Rosberg viewed him as... Not really a big-time factor in the special teams department. So very excited to see how these two moves pan out because they've got to be home runs. They can't be singles. This unit has been one of the worst in football for the last half decade or so, and it's got to turn around in 2023. That's going to do it for us on today's show. I appreciate everyone who tuned in for our second video today. Go check out our last one. We talked about the Broncos potentially signing Tony Pollard or Miles Sanders and the latest on Javante Williams' injury. So if you missed that, check it out. We got that video in the comments and the description of today's show.